Lip Smack and Campin' is brought to you by MSR Stoves and Cookware, makers of the legendary Whisper Light Stove and the award-winning Reactor Stove System. MSR has been fueling outdoor adventure for over 40 years. Hi, I'm Christine. And I'm Tim. Welcome to Lip Smack and Campin'. Today we're gonna to show you how to make Indian fry bread. What you're gonna need is one half cup whole wheat flour, one half cup all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of garlic salt, two teaspoons of parsley, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Add it on the trail. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and package. The first thing we're gonna package is the bread mix. Again, one half cup of whole wheat flour, one half cup regular all-purpose all -purpose flour, and then two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, and then we're gonna to put together our seasoning mix. For this particular demonstration, we're just gonna use garlic salt and parsley, but you could use uh, dried chives, chopped nuts, uh, Parmesan cheese, or you could go with a sugar mix with cinnamon. It's really up to you. Once you have a basis for your bread, you can kind of mix and match and add all kinds of things to make it fun. Okay, so again, we need one fourth teaspoon of garlic salt and two tablespoons of parsley. Okay, so we're going to package that up. Again, we always want to label what it is we're making because we're probably going to forget when we get to the trail. At least that's what I would do. And the amount of water needed is one half cup added on the trail. And it's a little messy, but I, to make things easier, I'm just going to go ahead and put the seasoning bag in there so I find it because sometimes when you're rooting through your pack, it's really difficult to find things if they're in pieces. So try to keep them together whenever possible. Okay, here we go. We're ready to hit the trail. Okay, we're back at the trail and we're gonna go ahead and test our trail bread, our Indian trail bread recipe. This recipe calls for one half cup of water. The thing I need to tell you though is that sometimes there's variables with this. So we don't always get the consistency we're looking for. We're trying to aim pretty close. So sometimes it's good to have just a little bit of flour. I've set aside a little bit of flour on this plate so that I can, in the, in the case that I need it on my hands, I can work with the flour or the dough a little bit better. So about one half cup. I'm gonna go ahead and seal the bag. And I'm going to need the dough. Okay, we're gonna see what the texture is like of this dough. And hopefully it's not too sticky. If you don't wanna mess with it, then make it just a little bit wetter and then use the technique of cutting the end out and then just squeezing <coughs> the actual dough out. So Cutting that'll the keep things from the bag. Right, cut the corner of the bag and then squeeze it onto the pan. And that'll keep things pretty clean for you. If you wanna work with it a little more, uh, then you could you could just go ahead and try to use your little bit of flour you set aside. And what we're going to do then is we're going to go in and try to get ourselves a dough ball. Go ahead and, and this is the working oil pretty now. good. Yeah, go ahead and put the oil in. And this particular recipe, it was asking that the bread be nice and flat. Okay, it looks nice and hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this bread. And I'm gonna just flatten it even just a little bit more. With my spatula. Okay, so we just keep going. We just brown one side, then we flip it and we brown the other side. Okay, so it looks like our bread is done. We're gonna move it over to the plate and we're gonna add half of our seasoning because we've just made one half of our bread mix. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. That's good. Bread in the back country. Yeah. If you have any extra That's olive good. oil, add that too, because this is, I want to dunk it in olive oil right now, Doug. What about you? 
be it's good. Really good. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you make Indian fry bread on the backcountry. We'll see you next time for a lip smack and camping. For hundreds of mouthwatering camp recipes and invaluable information for making your next camp trip memorable for all the right reasons, check out Tim and Christine Connor's best-selling series of books. For more information or to purchase books, visit lipsmackandcampin.com.